the only horse of local Kumanis who ever wears one. And took just a keen hold going down to the start, uh, did Lucando. And as they race for the first furlong, there's no pace on. Jedida leads on the outside, but I just think on sufferance from Middleton Rory and Hollow Hand and Grand Tour and Show Me Air. And then comes Caliberto and the two principals at the rear of the field next to the rails is Bellotto. Just uh, getting a bit warm, sweating up, and on the outside of him is Lucando in the blue. So it's Littleton Rory now who stretches as they turn right handed and make their way down the back stretch, leading by a length and a half. The Jezida in second, the face is better. Back in third is Hollow Hand, four Grand Tour, five Show Me Air, six is Caliberto, seventh place is Nocando, and held up is Bellotto back in last place. I expect him to finish uh, strongly. So it's Littleton Rory who leads. From Jezidu in second on the outside of Hollow Hand, the second and third. Grand Tour just uh, stretching up on the outside. That settled in four. Shomier five. Shomier would move well down to the start for him. Then Caliberto is in sixth place, and the behind these comes Locando, and Bellotto still last. So they head down towards the halfway stage in this bonus print September stakes, and it's Littleton Rory in the lead. Jezidu in second won this uh, day last year, now goes up into the lead, in fact, as they cross the intersection of the courses, Bellotto is still last, Jessica leads from Littleton Rory second, Grand Tour third, Hollow Hand racing four, and there's Bellotto in last place, but as you can see, no more than five, six lengths off the leader as they head down towards a full furlong marker, and Jessica leads from Grand Tour in second, and these two have uh, just quickened the two to three lengths clear of Hollow Hand in the red cap who goes third, Show Me Air four, and then Nokando, then Caliberto next to the rails at Littleton Rory starting to give way, and Bellotto starts to make ground on the outside. There he is, stretching and going after the leaders, and they turn into the home straight. They've got two and a half to go, and Bellotto's got quite a lot of racing to do, so too, for that matter, as Nokando, as Jezzard, a good horse in her own right, leads from Grand Tour, certainly no slouch. They've got just a furlong and a half to go. Here on the outside uh, comes Bellotto on the outside of Nokando, a furlong and a half to go. Jezzard are next to the rails in Grand Tour, and Nokando, and Bellotto under pressure. Fires not a lot with a furlong to go. Nokando now the challenger to Jezida next to the rails. Nokando the horse with the nose band. Jezida back in second, Grand Tour third. Milano beaten, disappointing as Nokando pickens up and goes on by two lengths at the line. Nokando the winner in second place. Jezida the third, Grand Tour. Milano another disappointing run back in four. Then came Hollow Hand five, Caliberto six, Shomier seventh, and uh, Littleton Rory completed the lineup, but the result of this, the bonus print September stakes a win for number 11, Nokando, owned by Dr. Ben Boffer, trained at Newmarket by Luca Kimani, ridden by Ray Cochran, Ray's 82nd winner of the season, and 89 is his best so, uh, so far. Second is number two, Jezida, that one ridden by Bruce Raymond, and third, number nine, Grand Tour, ridden by Paul Cook. That's the one, two, three in this group race, in which the runners had uh, won nearly